As many of you know, Charlie Kaufman, who wrote and co-directed this film with Duke Johnson, is one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, figure in Hollywood. His films have the extraordinary quality to change the way you see the world, life, human nature, and yourself. Anomalisa is no exception. This is only Kaufman's second directorial outing and his first time working with stop-motion animation, which is likely why he teamed up with Duke Johnson, but it certainly doesn't show. This is an incredible, thought-provoking, deeply original story that, despite its small, crowdfunded budget, is crafted with warmth and a sure hand. Anomalisa began its life as a stage play by Kaufman, without any intention to bring it to the big screen. It was a stripped-down production, with nothing but a few actors sitting on stage talking to each other, letting the script speak for itself through the actors' performances and the audience's imagination. Though that version has its own interesting nuances and insights inherent to the medium, transforming it into a film gave it a new dimension through the visuals. This is one of few animated films where the animation truly adds something to the experience beyond aesthetics. It wouldn't be the same done any other way. For one, simply the choice to do it with stop motion gives it a grounded, human feel, but with just enough distance. Even though we're not watching real people do things, the characters come to life through the humanistic elements of the animation, the minor imperfections, and the subconscious knowledge that each frame is handcrafted by a group of artists, making each and every aspect of the frame an artistic choice. Additionally, because it's animated, some of the more surreal elements work literally, since I was invested in the characters and their world was real to them in context, the impossible things that resulted from the main character's mental state became just as real to me as they were to him. I don't want to go into too much detail so as not to spoil anything, and I've even cut out parts of the trailer here that reveal a bit too much if you look carefully, but the specifics of the way the characters are constructed physically is really interesting and unique. On the surface level, it allows the animator to create realistic expressions more freely, but it also creates interesting thematic aspects, which is the real value of this unconventional animation format. The story, like much of Kaufman's work, is a universal human experience told in a unique way, a kind of slanted angle that gives us a different view of ourselves, which, in a way, makes it all the more clear and impactful. Though we may not experience things literally quite the same way as Michael, our main character, we've all been in similar mental states. Disconnected, alone, exposed, paranoid, just not quite right. As someone who absolutely adores all of Kaufman's work, this may not be his best film yet, but it's definitely one of his better ones, not to mention one of the best films of the year, and one that I'll remember in the future, stacked up against the greats of all time. It's simple in scale, but it's an introspective, profound experience with an amazing attention to detail that's left me thinking about it ever since my first viewing. And I can't wait to see it again to uncover what else it has in store that I missed the first time around. It's certainly not an uplifting film, though it does have Kaufman's usual touch of quirky humor, but it's one you won't walk away from as quite the same person you were beforehand.